guys so today's video is going to be get ready with me so i'm basically going to meet Rhett and link if you don't know who they are they are youtubers they do good with good morning and i'm super excited so they're going to be doing like a live show and then obviously we get to meet them after so i'm super excited so this is going to be a get ready with me i think i said get ready with me already but it's going to be hair makeup and outfit because you know the full shebang we're extra that's how we like it <laughs> so we're going to start off with a little bit of hair first so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to blow dry my hair so i'm going to use the ghd advanced split end therapy so i'm just going to take a little bit of that and run it through the hair mainly concentrating it on the ends of the hair and not so much the top this really just helps like smooth everything down i literally just shampooed and conditioned my hair i've got nothing else on it so I'm just going to clip up some sections, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I just take like the GHD clips, these usually come with like your hair straighteners or your hair dryer or whatever, like in a big bundle. Then I'm going to use the GHD hair dryer, so I'll link the hair dryer down below, but this is brand new, I haven't used this yet and I'm super excited. Um, and then I also have the round brush as well that comes through it so I'm literally just going to run it through like so and do it I'm not the best at drying hair but you know I'll get the job done so let's do that and then we're just going to keep doing that so take sections and just drying it so before I forget I'm just going to take the Benefit Brow Valve Conditioning Primer so I like to apply this and let it dry and um, obviously we can do that while our hair's doing this so I just brush that through so for hair i've just done a little bit at the bottom but i like to take the ghd heat protection spray so just spray a little bit on and just so we've got nice protected heat hair heat free hair does that make sense yeah so these little bits of hair like baby hair so i'll leave those out and i'll just curl them later so what I like to do is I like to take a section of hair and we're going to take the Bellamy 6-in-1 wand. I don't particularly like this very much, but I have it. I'll leave the barrel size that I use in the bottom bar because I'm not quite sure what it is. And what I like to do is I like to just wrap it around the hair. Like so, and then I'll leave it there for like mm, 10 seconds. And then I just let it drop out basically. I like to sort of hold it there. I'll take like these silver grips and I'll just place it in. Hopefully we can do this one without it falling all out. And then I'll just let that sit there for, well, I'll do all of my makeup and then I'll take it out. So I'm just gonna do another bit of hair. You can go like all different directions with the hair. You can go on top of the hair, you can go underneath. I like to do a little bit of everything really, depending on my mood. So it gives it like more body and it gives it sort of different dimensions. So if you drop the curl, like I obviously have here, then what I do is I just take my hand and I almost just push it up to the hair and then I'll just pin it into place. If you do find they like are too loose, like this one is a bit loose, then you can just take another pin and just sort of clip it into here. So like now, see, it's up there. So when I get to the top section of my hair, um, what I like to do is, instead of taking it on top, I always take it underneath. Just because if you put it on top, the way the curl sits on the, the head, it like almost puts it out too much for me. So I always go like basically underneath, or you can take it from the side, um, really all your preference. But that's what I like to do. And then like with my fringy sections, I guess, they're not so much fringe, but I like frame my face. When with these bits, I like to wrap it away um, just because then it's away from my face and it's not in my face. But it's going to go up into like a little pony tail thing anyway, like it's a half up, half do hair. So yeah, and then that looks like so. So any of these like little bits that, you know, they don't fit in a hair wand or anything, I just sort of take my hair curler without trying to burn myself. 
and just sort of do a bit of this action to give it a little bit of something so there's like a little bit of curl there but nothing too much obviously like things like this i just that's not going to fit in but if you see like any like obviously like this little bit i've missed down here so i'll just curl it and i'm not bothered about pulling it up just because it's such a thin section of hair so we're going to move on to makeup now so for lips i'm just going to prep them so i'm going to take the beard and lady lynx peppermint peanut butter lip balm so it is a very big mouthful so i'm just going to hot that on the lips i'm not even joking this is like one of my favorite lip balms it's so beautiful it smells really nice and it also like plumps the lips a little because it's like pepperminty it's beautiful so we're going to move on to eyebrows so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the anastasia brow whiz so I'm going to comb through the brows first and then just go ahead and fill them in. So what I'll typically do is I'll just draw like a line underneath the brows. And then I'll brush like the top of it down and then just carry on drawing more lines. Then I'll just like fill them in ever so slightly because I'm going to go in with a little bit of dip brow as well because well I'm extra and if I want four eyebrow products on then I'm going to have four eyebrow products on but you can obviously just use as you please if you want to use the dip brow just use the dip brow okay so now I'm going to take the Anastasia dip brow so this is also in taupe so what I like to do is I just like to dip my brush in so this is the Anastasia number 12 brush I believe yes number 12 brush I'll dip it in and then I'll take any excess just on the lid, just because we don't want too much. So then I just like to brush the hair up a little bit. And then with this, I just sort of flick it through the brows. And then I'll take it down as well. And then I'll just take a little bit through the front, so just sort of look it up then i like to take a bit of the benefit gimme brow so this is in the shade one and i'll just take that through the front of the brows okay so that is brows i'm <laughs> just acting like an absolute idiot don't mind me this is what happens when i'm excited i'm just like anyway so to highlight the brow bone i'm going to take a becca in champagne pop so this is not in my this is the mid four so i'm going to take that on a crown brush c510 I'm just going to pop that underneath the brow bone. When I'm dipping it in, I'm just taking a little bit off on the back of my hand. Um, just because, obviously, I don't want it to be too bright under there. But I want enough that I look like i got shimmery brows. <laughs> so just tug the eyebrow a little bit and just pop it underneath. I don't take it into this part. I just like it sort of near the towel end and the arch. Just so brows look more awake and more arched i guess okay so to prime the eyelids i'm going to take the Irma decay eyeshadow prime potion in anti-aging i'm just going to take that all over i'm just going to pack it out of my finger now this is so weird because usually when you go to meet and greet you go and meet them beforehand and then you go to the concert oh no 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 we're going to the concert and then we're meeting them after so i was like great so i'm going to be like a sweaty miss jumping around singing and just like admiring their beauty and I'm going to be my hair's going to look like this when I want it to look like what it's going to look like later <laughs> I'll have to pack my makeup bag in my car they'll be like please cue and I'll be like sir I need to go to my handbag for um, some water or something <laughs> and really I'll come back and I'll have like extra highlighter on and a big thing spray there we go we're all good so I'm going to take the melt stack so this is the baby girl stack and Oh, I haven't used this before, but I'm super excited to try it out. So the first shade I'm going to take is called Scamming. So this is what this shade looks like. So I'm going to take that on a Spectrum B06. And I'm just going to take a really light hand. Um, just because I really don't know how like pigmented these are and stuff. And I don't want to go in heavy. And I probably should have used something that I've already used before. But... And then I'm just going to put that in the crease. It's giving me a little wash of colour. I'll probably use a tiny bit more. If Melt Cosmetics can put a mirror in this and everyone can put a mirror in eyeshadow palettes, it's great because you can look down in it. 
just the perfect mirror just for your eye oh it's great i love this so i'm gonna just put a little bit of tape on just because i want to extend this to be quite blown out but um because of my eye shape just tape just it's good okay it's the best thing ever so rather than taking it like right diagonal i'm gonna take it an edge almost like straight but like with a little bit of angle just so we can sort of extend it out and still not look like I don't know like I don't like it when it's like really chunky here um personally my opinion so I, I like I mean obviously when you've got eyeliner on you can sort of cover it up and it looks all right but with eyeshadow I just like a really sort of natural blown out look so I'm just going to take a bit more of that shade and just extend it out to the tape to blend it out a little bit further I'm going to take the crown brush duo fiber blending brush and just blend it out then the next shade we're going to take from the palette is this one so this is main squeeze so I'm going to take that on a spectrum a17 and I'm just going to draw almost like a thin line around the crease just because I'm going to cut it I'm just going to draw like a thin line and then to blend that out I'm going to take a crown brush d431 and just really gently blend so I only do want half a cut crease so I'm going to take that shade on a crown brush c528 I'm going to pack it on the outer corner as well I'm just going to bring it into more or less the center just gonna blend that out again with the same crown brush. Just gonna take a little bit of um, scamming again on the same crown brush and just sort of go back through the crease and around. So to cut the crease, I'm just gonna take concealer. So this is Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, this is in the shade Light. I don't even know if it's known as light anymore because I have about 20 different shades, but uh, yeah light is what i've got so i'm just gonna take that do a lot that on a spectrum a a16 yeah i'm gonna place it down the cup and then cut the crease half the way so basically where that orange pinky line stops is where i'll cut the crease to i'm just gonna take my finger and just pat it out a little bit so for the eyelid shade, I'm going to take this shade from the set. So this is Hopeless Romantics. Not Romantic, Romantics, I believe. It's got an X on the back. I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to take that on the same brush. I literally just wiped off the excess. And I'm going to pack that on the lid. If I need to, I will wet it. But for now, we'll just see how it goes. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> I'm not looking at this for the mirror. I'm like, <laughs> I need to pick up the mirror one. <laughs> so I'm just going to dip my brush into it into the shade then I'm just going to hit it up with a bit of the Urban Decay or Night Setting Spray both sides and then pack that on there that is super pretty so I'm just going to take this little itty bitty crown brush that we used and I'm just going to sort of buff the colour just so we can obviously blend it because right now we well to me I look crazy so I'm just going to buff that out a little bit if you feel like you need to, you can pick a little bit more colour up and sort of blend it in. Um, obviously, depending on what works for you best. I just sort of drag this shimmer shade over. And then I might go in with a little bit of the orange. So I'm going to add like a little bit of glitter like around the cut crease area just to really give it some razzle dazzle. So I'm going to take the Stila. So this is Glitter and Glow. So this is in Wonderlust. And we're just going to take that on a little Rule Techniques. I think this is an Ascent brush. No, a Thin Liner brush. I was wrong. And I'm just going to take a bit of that. I'm just going to draw basically a line around here. And basically just stop it when we get to the half of it. Because we don't want to go all the way around. And while that's still wet, I'm going to take this glitter. It's Clitter by Chelsea and Abby. I can't remember the shade of it. I think I've got it listed in my description box. So I'm going to take that little angle brush and just pack that on while it's wet because, you know, more is more. So I'm just going to oh, look a little bit more. Then that looks like so. So I'm just going to finish up the other eye and then we can go on to the face. So I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow and I'm going super hard with the glowy stuff and I don't know whether I'm not too, but I do I love glowy skin 
I can't bother to put this on my hand, so I'm just going to do some of this business. And then I'm just going to take an elf stippling brush and just off oh, that in. I'm going to avoid the nose just because I'm going to put some like pore filler on it. I want my glazes. I'm just going to take the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Foundation Primer in pore something. Pore minimising? Yeah, pore minimising. I'm just going to take a double of that on the nose area. I'm just going to take a little bit down here as well just because I've got a few little spots growing. So for foundation, I'm going to take the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. So I have golden and porcelain. Golden is just a little bit too dark even with self it on. So I like to make it, make it? I like to mix it with a bit of porcelain. Draw that on the face. Then to blend that out, I like to take the Clarisonic Foundation Brush Head. You don't have to use this. I love using this with a beauty blender, but I, I was like, I can't bother to go and wet it. Because I wet this one and then I was like, oh, no, I'm not going back. So I like, yeah, I'm using this. I like it. So for concealer, I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape in light. I'm just going to do a little bit of this action. Bridge of the nose. Oh, God. Bridge of the nose. Put far too much on there now. Let's do a little bit of this action on the forehead. Actually, I'm going to leave the chin just because obviously I've got a bit of acne and stuff. So I don't really want to highlight that. So I'm just going to blend that out with a little a Real Techniques um, Miracle Sponge. Are these called the Miracle Sponges? If they're little, I'm not too sure. But I love these sponges. I think they're great. Try. I've got, I've got to talk about this here, right here, right now. So I just tried the Cover FX Concealer, and it's phenomenal. But obviously, it's too light for my um, tan shade. So, would you believe they have the same? Like I was like, this looks small. This has ten milliliters in it. This has ten milliliters in it. Like it's actually got the same amount of product. And look at the size difference. It's unbelievable. So cover effects that's really good i like the fact that it's small packaging like less product wastage i think it's great anyway <laughs> we're not talking about that are we that's just like i was like i've got to mention it one day on youtube because to me it's just it's crazy it really is well what am i doing next uh contour i'm gonna take the rimmel contour stick in light um, I should probably pick up medium for like when I'm tanned, but this isn't too bad even on this kind of skin for me. Oh, I've applied way too much. Never mind, never mind, we'll just blend it out. I'll take some on the nose. And to blend out my nose bit, I'm just going to take the Luxie JD Wady 180 brush. And I'm going to take like this side, so this is like the cream side, and I'm just going to sort of give it a bit of this action. I think I've gone too heavy with the nose contour as well. We should have taken it on the brush and then done it, but we're here now. So I'm just going to take my Clarisonic. I am going to go over it with the Clarisonic, just because me being me, I've applied a little bit too much. And then I'm just going to blend out like my face bit as well with it. There we go, that's a bit better. So for bronzer today, I'm going to take the Elsie bronzer. So this is also in light. So I'm going to take that on a crown brush, the 07. This has got a little bit of fallout with this. I'm just going to bronze up the temples. And then also like this part as well. I'm just going to take a tinty bit on my nose as well, taking the other side of the Luxie brush. I'm just going to dabble in lightly to it, just because I don't want too much, because obviously we went quite hard with the um, cream side. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Hourglass Veil Retouching Fluid. So this is in the shade Vanilla. And I'm just going to put like a little bit on, on the inner corners of the eyes. I'm just that, that out to set that all in place i'm going to take the cover effects um perfecting setting powder so this is in translucent light which i don't quite know why it's translucent light because if it's translucent isn't it for everyone anyway i'm going to take that on a crown brush c530 so i'm just going to take i'm not even joking the tiniest amount because it is so finely milled i've never known a powder to be like this 
just gonna bite in, make sure it's all nice and blended. And go in the powder. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the same brush and just sort of put it all over the face, just like a light dusting really. Just because if we're gonna be sweaty but we also want to be glowy. This is actually not, it's actually such a nice powder. My cousin was like, I bought Tesla and I really don't like it, but I feel like it looks really pretty. It sort of um, gives like a little bit of glow without looking too powdery, um, but still keeps you like a little bit matte. It's, it's weird, but I, I really like it. I think it's a great powder, <sighs> but it, is, it gets everywhere. So I'm gonna take the Feeling Younger Skin Tint from Lush, and I know I've just powdered, but this stuff's usually all right on top of powder. So I'm just going to take a little amount just in case. I mean, I've never had any issues with it. So, you know what? We're just going to, we're just going to do it. I usually do take highlight I like all over the face, but because we've got like the Wonder Glow on and then I'm going to go in with like a dewy setting spray. I'm just going to stick with the tops, my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose. Just a little bit down here as well. And then that's it. Like, I don't really want it anywhere else. So, to add a little bit more glowy glow, I'm going to take the Becca highlight again. So, I'm going to take that on a crown brush C529. Just going to put that on top where we put the liquid. So, I'm not going to put it down this bit of the nose just because I like to have that little bit of glow there, but nothing like too heavy. A little bit on the cupid side, so why not? Okay, so for blush today, we're going to take the Jouer blushes. So these are um, in the shade Adore Me and Hold Me. So I'm just to dab them in both on the same um, Spectrum C07. I'm just going to flush up the cheeks a little bit. And then to finish up the lower lash line, I'm going to take this shade, which was Scamming. I'm just going to take that on a Spectrum B06. Just take a little bit and just run that along the lower lash line then just take a little bit of highlight in the inner corners so the becca highlighter just going to take that on a crown brush c510 just then i'm going to take the iconic prep set and glow spray so this is in a original i believe yeah i'm just going to spray that on the face then i'm going to take the urban decay all nighter setting spray and just spray that all over you could probably just go in with one, but I like how the Ever Decay one makes my skin feel. And I like the Iconic one to give me like a little bit of glow. And for lips today, before we go in with mascara and stuff, I'm going to take the Milani Colour Statement Lip Liner. So this is 04 All Natural. So I'm just going to line my lips with this. Then I'm going to take the Anastasia Lipstick. So this is a matte lipstick in the shade honey which just looks like so then for lip gloss today i'm going to take the anastasia lip gloss in the shade venus i'm just going to apply that all over these smell delicious i've never tried anastasia lip glosses don't know why no i had done so for um mascara i'm going to take the l'oreal double extension waterproof and then i'm going to take the survived eye i believe that's pronounced i'm not too sure so these are the lashes in oh they're falling apart oh i just flipped them upside down so these are in the style love struck so i'm going to apply that off camera but before i do any of that i'm going to take out this hair first so let's just go ahead and do that just take a clip out one by one really so this is what we've got when we take the curls out so obviously it's still very curly which i personally don't like myself so i like to take a wide tooth comb and i'll just sort of hold the hair and gently brush the curls out so i like to take my fingers for it so i'm just going to take a bit of the bed head blow out so this is a golden illuminating shine cr shine shine cream shine shine cream <laughs> there we go like to take a little bit of that and then i just sort of run that through the hair as well i'm just like sort of over the top because my hair's a little bit frizzy so i just like to smooth it through 
just take my comb again and just sort of give it a little brush through. So I'm going to do half up, half down. I know these bits are a bit dry. I'm just going to go with the hair curlers after. So where my brow is, I just sort of like to take the section of hair. And then I'll take a little clear elastic and just tie it into a pony. So then what I like to do is I like to take a small section of hair and then wrap it around the elastic. And then take a bobby pin and pin it into place. So I'm just going to take a bit of hairspray and just give it a bit of this action. I'll just take my back comb and just sort of Blush, blush away, brush away any sort of flyaways going on. Then I take a little bit of this bedhead superstar queen of queen for day thickening spray. So just sort of a little bit of that in, just use up the hair. Okay, and then that's hair complete. So I'm going to apply my lashes off camera and then I'll be back with the outfit on as well. So I forgot to put the Nip and Fab eye pencil in my waterline. So this is in the shade Nude. So I'm just going to put that in my lower waterline. And then this is the makeup complete. do an outro that's the end of the video all right bye oh, i got scissors oh damn it yes ow, 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 ow.